about 73 days ago, I got my hands on the Samsung A73. This was the phone I was most hyped about this year because many of you had shown great interest in my coverage of the predecessors of this phone. After having used this phone for a good amount of time, I am now ready to give you guys my long term review and I am going to address some of your queries in this video. Since I have covered this phone extensively on my channel, I won't be talking about its specs and stuff. My focus will be on the real life usage of this phone instead. Alright, the design of the A series has evolved well over time. We did not get a brand new design this year. The A73 stands in line with its immediate uh, predecessor, the A72. But yes, there are some differences in the ergonomics which make this phone a better choice. Samsung managed to cut down the weight of this phone and also make it a bit slimmer. Some people say that this is the slimmest Galaxy A70 phone but I reckon this is not. Uh, so if you are using the phone for long hours while playing the games or using the social media, your hands are not going to get tired and there is no bulk on this phone to bother about. This is an IP67 rated phone. I haven't tried dipping my own phone in the water but you can't go wrong with the IP67 rating. Okay, the display this year has improved and in my opinion this is the best display you can get on a premium mid-range device and there are a few reasons for that. The first reason is the screen real estate that improves within the same form factor with the help of those slim bezels and a smaller bottom chin. I don't like the punch hole size though. The second reason is the brightness. Although this phone has got about 800 nits of brightness but it looks brighter than 800 nits at times and its performance outdoors is outstanding. I've been watching a lot of content on this display just out of the love for this display and I've been playing some games too. The 120Hz refresh rate makes the animations look so smooth and fluid on this one. I would give Samsung 10 out of 10 marks here for the display on the A73. It's got the HDR10 support as well and you can watch the HDR supported videos in YouTube as well. I would give Samsung 10 out of 10 marks here for the display on the A73. The phone looks gorgeous from the front. A73 ships with one UI 4.1 out of the box and I think its software is going to be the reason for its elongated longevity. I'll talk about uh, the software features in a bit. Let's talk about the software update lifecycle first. A73 is eligible for 4 years of Android updates, means you will be able to upgrade your phone to Android 16 when it happens and 5 years of security updates and this I think has to be the biggest selling point of the A73 in fact for the entire new Galaxy A lineup for that matter. Now this is uh, what's going to define the longevity of your phone just like I said before. You can definitely keep your phone for 5 years, you won't run out of updates only if you manage to keep your device intact in a good shape and with some extra care I think you can extend it up to 6 years. I do not mean to say that you should keep this device for 6 years. I recommend keeping one device for uh, a maximum of 3 years only but one of you asked under my community post about its longevity and I just wanted to address that. And let's talk about the software features now. Although this is a feature rich smartphone, Samsung still cuts a lot of corners to maintain a difference between its flagship and mid-range devices. There isn't a lot of plotware on the phone by default, you can get rid of most of the applications by either disabling or uninstalling them so I don't think that you are going to be bothered with the pre-installed applications and by the way the blotware varies region to region and you might end up seeing more additional apps in your region. My phone comes from the UAE and there isn't anything that annoys me. The A73 brings features like remaster pictures, object eraser, advanced features with some very nice gestures, Samsung secure folder is there, video call effects are there and so on. But it does miss out on some really cool features at the same time. For example, the phone doesn't get the DeX feature, the camera doesn't bring features like the director's view, it doesn't have a raw format option either, there is no portrait video mode in the camera app. I think the A73's category should be upgraded and made eligible for all these features. As I just talked about the camera app, let's revisit the cameras of this phone too. A73's main camera sensor is a 108 megapixel sensor and some users confused it with the S22 Ultra's 108 megapixel sensor. S22 Ultra's sensor is a flagship sensor, it's an entirely different sensor while Samsung has used a mediocre HM6 sensor on the A73. There is a huge difference between the result of these phones and I conducted a camera comparison between the A73 and the S22 Ultra to show you the differences. So the thing is, 
A73's camera is good in itself, but you can't really compare it to a flagship's camera. The phone lacks good dynamic range. It is unable to handle highlights at times. In fact, it blows off the highlights in most of the cases. Its video stabilization is good only as long as you are looking at its video all alone. And the moment you compare its video to a flagship's video, you do realize that its stabilization sucks. What I mean to say is, it does come close to its expensive siblings at times, but that doesn't mean you declare its camera better. It's a mediocre camera that needs a lot of improvements and I do hope Samsung fixes its video stability issues first of all. Another thing that I would like to talk about is that the 108 megapixel sensor is in no way a replacement of the telephoto camera on the A73. I mean, I really miss the telephoto camera on the A73 and the A72 I think wins the camera competition uh, from the A73 when it comes to the zoomed in pictures. The A73's 108 megapixels uh, camera, no matter how big images it captures, it just cannot provide you that result that you would otherwise get from a telephoto camera. I mean, uh, you would take a 108 megapixels image and you would definitely crop it in to achieve that uh, digital kind of zoom, but that's not going to help. So I think this is a big letdown on the Galaxy A73. It would have been better if Samsung maintained a 64 megapixels camera on the A73 and still uh, gave us a telephoto camera on this phone. By the way, you can check out all the comparisons on my channel. I have done a really nice comparison between the A73 and the A72 as well, uh, especially showing the digital versus optical zoom on these phones. I'll drop the links in the description. Performance of the new A series uh, is a letdown for some users this year. The primary reason is that Samsung did not use any new or improved chipset on the phone this year. All uh, they did was to separate the categories of the devices. For example, last year the A52 and A72 belonged to the same league, but this year the A73 gets some respect and stands in its own class apart from the A53. A73 comes with the Snapdragon 778G chipset and to date, it is a concern for many users especially when a cheaper device the A52S 5G brings the same offering on board. Yes, the A73 is 100% similar to the A52S 5G in terms of performance. You won't find any differences. It just tries to differentiate the experience with the help of other goodies like its bigger and better looking display. I have done a multitude of benchmark tests and today I conducted a CPU throttling test as well and believe me there isn't even a tiny thing to worry about this chipset. I think this chipset is the best match for this phone. It's a sweet spot as it can perform most of the tasks without running into any problems. At first, the phone doesn't easily heat up and when it heats up, the temperature is manageable. This chipset allows you to run heaviest games on your A73 without a hassle. I've been playing PUBG Mobile, the Quad Mobile and now the Diablo Immortal and my experience has been super good since the phone does not lag and I just love playing games on that display. I do wish Samsung had provided us with a better chipset, but the phone is out now and we can't really change the hardware. It's been over a year since I shifted to wireless earbuds and wireless headphones, so I do not really miss the headphone jack on the Galaxy A73. As far as the speakers are concerned, the speakers are good, they sound nice, uh, the bass and other elements uh, that make the sound output good, they are very good on the Galaxy A73, but the speakers are not very loud and they are not very uh, low sounding speakers either. I mean, uh, they are just average. You can't really expect something great out of these speakers on the Galaxy A73. One big letdown, however, is the use of UFS 2.1 storage. Samsung could have used the UFS 3.1 at least and made the file transfer experience between a PC and the A73 a better experience. The RAM is LPDDR4 which I think is fine for this phone. A73 brings a 5000mAh battery too and its battery is one of the best features on the phone right now. Because this phone has a decent chipset and it's got an AMOLED panel as well, the battery really complements the phone's life. Although I have conducted a full battery drain test where this phone lasted for 7 hours, I would like to talk about the real life usage. If you are using the phone with your SIM card inserted and the phone is in idle mode, you are going to lose about 12% battery in one day, which means the phone can stay on for about 8 to 10 days in the idle mode. 
and without a SIM card, it's gonna last for an additional couple of days. On average use, it easily lasts for over a day and half and if you put too much pressure on your phone, it's still gonna give you over 7 hours of screen on time, which it did in my intensive battery drain test. It's a shame that Samsung doesn't ship a charger with this phone anymore, but if you have got a 25 watt charger, it will help you take it to 100% within 65 to 75 minutes given that your room temperature is around 23 to 25 degrees. And lastly, the price. Well, inflation is on the rise all across the world and almost everything is getting expensive day by day. So I think the price of this phone as the days are passing on has started making sense since we won't be getting the new phones carrying a cheap price tag in near future. And it's a Samsung device, you will be finding it for good discounts very soon. So I think uh, in just a month or two, the price of this phone will be very good. And that my friends is all with my long term review of the Galaxy A73. Let me know what do you guys think of this device and drop your feedback about my video too. If you still have any queries, ask away in the comments. Subscribe and like if you haven't yet. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.